interplanetary resources. That's uh, James Cameron and Larry Page from Google. They said they're going to start mining space for precious metals. I think they should stick to software. I think if you do what you know how to do, you do it fairly well. And I welcome them to the mining industry. Uh, I would suggest in a net present value context that mining on Earth is very difficult. And mining in space would be an order of magnitude more difficult. I note that the same guys decided to go into the geothermal industry, and rather than going into part of the geothermal industry that worked, uh, that is, groundwater that comes in contact with volcanics in permeable terrains that you can turn into power, that these guys decided to go into something called hot, hot rock geothermal, which doesn't work. I think it's wonderful that the world has very bright, very aggressive young people with a lot of money who can pioneer these uh, sort of frontier technologies. Uh, I would caution them as a consequence of my experience in the mining industry in my age. The pioneers generally were identified lying face down on the prairie with their back full of arrows. And I suspect that the outcome that they will enjoy both in mining and geothermal will be that, although I applaud their attempts. I wanted to know what you think about planetary resources. Uh, that's uh, James Cameron and Larry Page from Google. They intend to mine space for precious metals. Uh, I, think it's, I, I think it's wonderful fiction. It reminds me a little bit of the stories of and Howard Hughes is going to be mining the Pacific uh, from submarines that I don't recall ever happening. Hypothetically, it's out there. Undoubtedly, it's out there. But you can rest assured that some global body will slap import duties on it if they try and bring it into planet Earth. I won't hold my breath waiting for it. How many years do you think this would be in the future if this even were to become to fruition? Uh, I put it this way. I'm 70 next month. It won't happen in my lifetime. Right. Do you think it's more of a scare tactic to some way drive down the prices of PMs here in the, in the short term? No, I just, I, I, think, I think Cameron was, uh, Cameron and Richard Branson have got egos that are roughly the size of the planet. And they're big dreamers, and God bless them. That's, you know, uh, Jules Verne, 100, what, 120 odd years ago, was talking about submarines before they were built. Sure. But uh, as they say, I wouldn't hold my breath waiting for it. I'm Ken Sharon, Director of Numismatic Sales for RareCoin Financial, Division of RareCoin Wholesalers. Okay, um, I was wondering what you thought about planetary resources. This is uh, James Cameron and Larry Pages uh, from Google. They're financing some asteroid mining thing. What do you think about this? <laughs> well, it kind of like it's Star Wars. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I, I really don't know. It's kind of far out there. It is. But, you know, after 35 years in this business, what I've seen, some of the mining and what's coming up, platinum, less than silver. Uh, so I'm curious to find out how they do it, considering our space shuttle program is now closed, yeah. if you would. I'm surprised they're not buying those, those spaceships. Do you think this is some sort of scare tactic on their behalf to make people think that, well, precious metals aren't that rare and we can just grab as much as we want from space? I wouldn't call it scare tactics. I just call it maybe he's smoking something. I really don't know. Maybe, maybe he had oxygen dep deprivation from going way down in the ocean, Mr. Cameron, remember? No, that's ridiculous, because how would you even know? what you're going to find up there. I mean, it's... There's just no it, way to tell. There's no way to tell. There's really no way to tell. I'm surprised, to be honest with you, that there wasn't ocean floor, more ocean floor exploration, if you would. Right. Because it probably, to, it, to me, that would be a, a different place to go rather than a meteor that's flying by. Right.